Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode on the Hypermind Infinity Evolved, no, Funaba Infinity Evolved server. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing amazing. I'm doing a pretty energetic day. It's been a great day so far. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I'm having a pretty good day, and I forgot to turn on Borderless Gaming. Dang it. You know what? You guys are just going to watch this. I always forget... I have a program called Borderless Gaming, and it gets rid of those borders on the top and bottom of your screen. Um, I don't know if you can tell or if you can see them. If you can't and they don't bother you, then it you know you probably wouldn't have noticed by now. But for me, it bothers the crap out of me. And, and some people don't like them, so it should fix itself right now. There we go. So much better. So I'm just leaving that in. Okay, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'm having a really good day. I got my trucker hat on. I don't know if you guys have noticed. But I got a new trucker hat. I love it. I got it at the convenience store down by the Walgreens. Not a sponsor. <laughs> I know. I got a weird hat. I really like it. But um, it's not the one we're going to be wearing. I actually got a cool new hat, and I really, really like it. It's called Cute Walrus. Look at him. He's a cute little walrus. Thumbs up for the cute walrus. Okay, let's put her back our goggles on so we can have her um, night vision. So last episode, we were dealing with something. What were we dealing with? Um, hold on, brain place, work for a second. What were we doing? Oh, modular storage, I remember now. We got all of our stuff in one singular area. Again, thank you for that voodoo for showing me that. That was so awesome. I hope that you guys enjoyed, it hasn't released yet. Um, but yeah, we got our modular storage. We got everything in one place, which is something that I really needed for today's episode. Because I've been doing a lot of exploring. And as you can probably tell, I've done a lot of digging as well. I've gathered up a ton of this cord stone, some of this, I think this is called Abyssal Stone, and some, of course, we've been gathering up marble, diorite, and the reason I wanted to show you guys these blocks is because I'm thinking of building our new base out of them, and I really, really love these blocks. Let's look at them really quickly. Um, Abyssal Stone, I remember I made some of the laboratory out of this. I think I made the bottom part in our Unleashed series out of Abyssal Stone. I'm pretty sure. Um, I made, I got this cord stone because it was a really, really nice contrast. It looks a lot like the regular stone, but it's white. Um, of course, we have diorite. We make everything out of vanilla and diorite. So I don't know if I'm going to be using diorite for this build. Um, for our new base build, I'm getting excited about it already. Um, let's turn a magnet back on. Um, so I probably won't do a lot out of diorite since we use so much of it in vanilla. And then, of course, marble. We used a lot of marble in our... Uh, feed the beast, not feed the beast, but um, Resident Rise playthrough, and a lot of you weren't there for that. So we've gotten a ton of new peeps since the Resident Rise world. So I'm welcome to all of you guys, and I, 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 it really it blows me away how many more people we have since Resident Rise. But I don't know what block we're gonna end up choosing for this episode. I mean, for this build, I really like these. Hold on, I want to see if they have chiseled. I, I want to see through really, really quickly. Chiseled variances. Um, bam, bam, bam. Oh, I'm tearing up the base. Oh my goodness, my pick, my pick is way too powerful. Okay, let's see. Chiseled, I know marble does. Cord stone, ah, uh, it doesn't have any chiseled variants. What about abyssal stone? Doesn't either, hold on. Is there any recipes for these? Facades, not, you can make abyssal block. Okay, but you have to smelt it. What about you? What can you do? You can smelt it as well. I wanna see these really quickly. So let's grab, let's go and smelt you up and then smelt you up. I made a couple new machines. I made the induction smelter. Oh, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I upgraded my jetpack. I went ahead and just went all balls deep inside of it. And you know, that's what that's weird. Don't repeat me. Uh, don't repeat what I just said. But I made the resident um, the resident jetpack, which by the way is so much better than the redstone one. I'll show you that off in a minute. I love it. It has 10 million RF in storage. So fast. I went ahead. I didn't even know you could, but you can freaking enchant these things. Who knew? Why didn't anyone tell me this? You can enchant it. I got fuel efficiency four and protection four. So that's pretty awesome. I also went ahead and enchanted my invar my invar leggings. I got protection four and I'm breaking three, so that's pretty cool as well. Um, my armor right now is all in shambles. You can't enchant these or these, so and don't really matter to me. So let's go ahead and look up. Let's go ahead and grab this. Oh yeah, I forgot I was doing some mining earlier. Let's go ahead and put these all in the chest of roadies. Oh no, I'm out of room. <laughs> I'm like, can I take anything out? Uh, you and you. There we go. If you guys are wondering, I want to show you guys really quickly. If you guys are wondering how I got so much, um, what's it called? So much Enderium. So let's go ahead and look at these blocks really quickly. I love that. I really love how that looks. Oh, it looks so nice. Um, what about you? 
Uh, it looks almost, it, it, they look a lot alike, but just different shades. I really love how this one looks though. Hold on, I have to check and see if there's a, if it's connected texture, if it's not a connected texture. But really quickly, if you guys are wondering if how I got so much Endarium, the main ingredient for Endarium that you need to get is Shiny, and I found a way to get infinite, well not infinite Shiny, I found a way to get definite Shiny. So if we look up Shiny Metal, you have to, the way you get shiny ingots usually is whenever you pulverize um, ferrous ore, you have a chance of getting a, I think it's like a 10% chance. Hold on, let me look um, really quickly. I think it's 10%. Yeah, a 10% chance of getting ferrous dust. I'm not ferrous dust, but shiny dust, which is very extremely low. I think out of all the ferrous I've ever, uh, I've ever pulverized, I only got like three of them which isn't really good. So I was looking up how to get, you know, better shiny. And I found out if you take ferrous ore and put it, let me see if I can find it. If you take ferrous ore, ferrous ore, I said, where are you ferrous ore? I thought you were in here. Where are you at? They didn't just take this out. I know it. Sand. There it is. Okay. If you take either nickel or ferrous ore, and combine it with cinnabar inside of induction smelter, you get a 100% chance of getting shiny back. So if you guys are having problems getting shiny, I definitely su suggest using this recipe. If you wonder how you get cinnabar, I get a lot of it for whenever I just smelt gold, because if you smelt gold, there's a 5% chance of getting cinnabar. Really, to be honest, I think that that's higher, because I've gotten a lot of it, like just randomly. Also, you can um, pulverize redstone, you get a chance of getting cinnabar. Um, or of course you can make it with jelly cryothium, which I don't think anyone will. So yeah, that's a thing. So let me look at this. Is there a connected texture? No, but I think that would be a really cool tile block. I might have to look into that. I, you know what? Oh, you don't insta break. So I'm going to look into most of that off screen. So really quickly, I want to take you guys over to where I have found, I have found our base place, or at least I have found a great looking place and I can't wait to show you guys. So let me make sure I've got everything I need. Everything's on me. Food, chisel, you can go back in your bag, I right oh. And I'm gonna go ahead over there really quickly. I just, you know what? We can fly together because I, I don't think you guys realize but how fast this jetpack is now. If you guys want reference to how fast I was last episode, go ahead and look. If you wanna see testing out right now, I'm hovering, I'm barely dropping at all. There is a noticeable drop, but it's not, you know, a lot. So let's go ahead and look on the map really quickly. We're going south. It's not really far from spawn. Here's spawn, I think spawn, the actual spawn chunk is right here. And here's our spawn village. And right down here is the area that I chose. It reminded me a lot of, oh my goodness. I love the speed. Oh my goodness, we're so fast. How, how many blocks are we covering? I think we can cover a hundred blocks within like four seconds, which is pretty fast. It's not the fastest in the world, but it is pretty fast, and I can't wait till we get to Sojourner Sash. I don't know if we're going to be able to get into Britannia today, but I, I said last episode that I was thinking about doing it, but I don't know. I want to see, because I got a lot of clearing out to do, and I'll show you guys that in just a second when we get over here. But um, it is relatively fast, so I can't wait. I don't know if I'm going to upgrade to the Flux version, because there is one version above this. So here is the area. I absolutely love it. It's so big. If you got... That's what she said. But um, if you didn't know, I love mountainous areas. I love building inside of mountains and stuff. Well, not inside of mountains, you know, around them. So I had a plan. I really love how this looks. I, my first idea was to build over here, like build something floating above this water. But then I was like, nah. I really, really wanted to build inside of this, but unfortunately this is in the way. So if we look at our map really super duper quickly, I have claimed all of this land. If you guys did not know, in Infinity Evolved, you can claim land. You, I think you have up to, well, you do have up to 500 chunks that you can claim to yourself. Um, I don't know if there's a way to make more or not. Um, I don't know the logistics of claiming, what it does for you. So if you want to ask those questions, I wouldn't ask me. I'd actually look them up. But here's my idea. This is in the way. I really want to take this out, completely get rid of it, because I don't, I don't really need it. I don't see a reason to have it and then build in this circle. Because after this is gone, this is all gonna be opened up. Like I'm probably gonna connect over here as well, get all the water around it, and then have our base right here in the middle. And I think that's gonna look really cool. If you guys, I, for reference, if you guys wanna go watch my, uh, my Resident Rise series, again, it's not the best, because my mic quality wasn't very good because I didn't have a really good Mac back then. But um, 
I plan on building something a lot like that base, but it's not going to be the same. And the reason I don't want to make it the same is I don't want it to be boring, and especially for those who have seen it. Um, I don't want you guys to be bored about it. So I have got a lot of clearing to do. Um, for reference, it, this is it. This is in the way. I'm probably going to take all this out. Um, I'm probably going to carve around here-ish and get to where the water circles around. It is a really decently sized area. Um, let me actually get down here to give you guys a little bit of scale. It is a really uh, really decent sized area. I don't know how big I'm going to make this, the thing itself. See, i got to take all of this out. i got to take all this out and trim it um, You know, pretty decently. But I had an idea on how to do it. I don't know whether or not the buildcraft uh, fillers are still bugged, but that is probably the approach I'm going to take because I'm not doing this by hand. I have Instapick on anything as of right now because of my uh, my incredible haste. I, have, I can insta mine anything I want, but this is just a lot of time that would have to take up for it. So I am going to go figure out how I'm going to get rid of this, and I'll bring you guys back in when I find something else. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bitty bit. I love the cute little walrus. Look at him. He's adorable. Alright guys, welcome back. So I'm chilling out here. I decided to use a filler and I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been just sitting here watching it, you know, do its ex-filling job. I was going to do like a little bit of a time lapse for it, but it was just taking so, so long. Like I've been sitting here for at least 30 minutes waiting for this thing to go through. It's not, oh, nope, nope, don't want to do that. Don't want to do that. All right, so let's go back in first person mode. So I brought you guys in. I don't understand why I'm an F. There we go. Thank you. Um, But I've been sitting here for about 30 minutes or so. I'm, I'm about to have to recharge my energy cell. And I thought I'd bring you guys in, show you guys some progress, and talk to you guys for a little bit while we watch this thing destroy destroy all the blocks i'm kind of feel bad about this because do we not have sounds on because i can't hear it i thought does the filler not make sounds hold on does the filler make sounds no don't kill me we're about to get hit by lasers guys and coming okay cool then. okay cool so it does make noise but it, <laughs> the the little laser thingies don't hurt us i absolutely love the way it looks but i always heard that it lags out clients and it, and it lags out servers um, but I haven't had that problem yet, so hopefully we don't have that problem. Let's get rid of this. But yeah, I thought I want to bring you guys back in because I was wanting to talk to you guys a little bit on what's going to be happening this week. This week is Thanksgiving week. I hope all of you have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you do celebrate Thanksgiving. If you don't, why not? You get free turkey. Free turkey. Well, it's not free. Someone has to pay for it. But yeah, we're going to be... I can't wait because we're going to be eating a lot of turkey, a lot of ham. It's going to be great. I hope all of you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. That, of course, will be Thursday. I probably... I will have an episode... Well, I'm not going to say I'm going to, but I'm most likely going to have an episode out that day. Um, not anything directed towards Thanksgiving. You know, just a regular uh, Hermitcraft. Not Hermit... I'm not on Hermitcraft. I'm not that awesome, but uh, just a regular Hypermind episode. So, yeah, I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to all of you guys. I'll probably wish you guys happy Thanksgiving on Thursday as well. So, yeah, I got a lot more waiting to do. Um, this guy is almost dead. Yeah, he's almost dead. So I'm going to get back to waiting. Again, I'm sorry about no time lapse. I was going to do one, but it was just taking way too long. So, yeah, back to waiting, guys. Alright guys, welcome back. So I've been running around everywhere, just going blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I've been running back from the new base to the old base to the new base to the nether to the end to the old base to the new place to all over the place. And trying to get some stuff done because like every five seconds I'm always like, I I could go get this and then I want to go get this. I'm sorry. So a little recap, I've done all the ter all of the stuff, like getting rid of the mountains done. Uh, I'm, now I'm starting to do some terraforming, trying to get like the lake and stuff looking right. But while I'm doing that, I'm like, I could just do something really quickly to make this all faster. So my idea was, I need a, I really, really need a builder's wand. Now, the only way you can get that is you need a, div a division sigil. And the only way you can get one of those is by killing a wither. Now, that means we're going to have to kill a wither. So, I don't know if we're going to be doing this episode, but we're killing a wither soon. So I need to get some skulls. Now, how am I going to get skulls, you might be asking. We have a wither skeleton farm, and I have looting three, but I ugh, it takes so long takes so so long so i decided to make what are these <laughs> so i've been putting stuff together to make an enderium cleaver and i'm going to be putting a lot of a heading on this sucker so i'm going to have a really op 
uh, Witherhead Gitter because it's gonna it already has a twenty percent chance and it also has nine point five hearts of damage. I'm not gonna be putting any sharpness on it. I've had a lot a lot of soda. I don't know if you can tell. But I'm going to be putting a lot of beheading on this. I really wanted to show you guys this if you guys are wondering how I did it. Um, super simple. Everything's made out of paper except for the head, which is made out of Enderium. Again, Enderium's not that expensive for me. Um, really, all I have to do is go get Ferris and then use the Cinnabar that I'm getting from when I pulverized the gold. So, and again, I seriously don't think it's 5% or 10%. I get a lot of Cinnabar from that. It's weird. So, yeah, I got an Enderium Cleaver. I'm actually going to make this the community head getter. Because I don't need this. Wither head getter. Community wither head getter. Bam! Da da! Preparing for the fight. Ah, uh, good, 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 good. So I'm going to be putting a lot of beheading on this. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little sit rep of what I've been doing. So I have to go grab some skulls. I don't know. I think we'll be able to fit into the fight at the end of the episode. Um, I'm also going to be showing you guys the base place whenever I get back done terraforming that. So I'm going to get back to work. I just wanted to show you guys some progress. I am doing a lot of work. I wanted to bring you in. I love you guys. Yeah. So I'm going to be back to doing some stuff. And yeah. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys. Welcome back. So I've been doing some weatherhead gathering. It's actually stupid easy now. Uh, I'm going to be leaving the, the, the community witherhead getter in here if it doesn't go inside the, the, the vacuum hopper. If it does, guys, don't worry about it. Um, just pick it up. It'll be in the chest. But um, it has a 90% chance of beheading, so literally we get these super quickly now. Uh, if anybody on the community or anybody on the server wants to use it, go for it. Just, you don't have to thank me or anything. Just make sure you put it back. So, um, and if it does run out of durability, uh, let me know and I will repair it. I didn't feel like putting a capacitor on it. I guess we could. Eh, it's a thing. Anyway, so let's see. I've got my heads. I'm going to go see. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think we've got soul sand really close. I think. If I'm wrong, then I'm going to cut and go grab soul sand. So let's run down here really, really quickly. So we're reaching the end of the episode. We've got, uh, I'm going to say five minutes left or so. I don't know how long this is going to take. Please tell me there's soul sand around here. Um, where yeah, Where yeah, Where yeah, yeah. Here we go. And I think I'm just going to set it uh, set it up over in this general area. Really, to be honest, I'm not too afraid of a wither. Famous last words. And <laughs> I'm not really afraid of a wither. Um, I'm, uh, that's going to blow up. And boom goes the dynamite. And boom goes the dynamite. And you know what to do. Why you know blow up? Well, that was anticlimactic. So let's just set him up in here. Um, okay, cool. Uh, Voodoo just left. Wither sound. Don't be alarmed. So let's go ahead and set this up like this. And then... Bam, bam, bam. Hey, you got a cool hat! <laughs> okay, now that's hilarious. Okay, and boom goes the dynamite. All right, cool. Death to the wither. Ain't even a problem. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Did I get the star? Yes, I did. I got the star and the thingy bobber. So I'm gonna go head back and I'm going to go. Ah, I hate to do the ritual this episode. I know next episode I'm planning on doing a bunch of weather fights so I can get a bunch of nether stars all gathered up together. We'll probably do a montage for that next episode. So I'm going to head back to the base and get some things all set up apart, and then we'll be back. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bitty bit. Alright guys, welcome back. So we're at the new base place. I've done terra- well, I'm not done terraforming. I've gotten rid of the giant thing that was here. i still got a lot of terraforming to do. Um, I have to go grab a lot of more uh, grass and a lot more dirt for that. So I got a lot of stuff to do off screen. Um, that's going to be it for today's episode, guys. I wish we could have done more. I, see, this is why I do not like predicting what I'm doing in episodes. If you go back and watch over my last few episodes, and every time I say what I'm going to be doing next episode, doesn't happen. <laughs> it just doesn't. It's hard to plan for these things, but I hope that you guys did enjoy. We were able to get a lot of stuff done. We were able to get those. We were able to get the Nether Star. The uh, we're definitely. I am going to be doing this next episode. We're definitely going to be doing the Division Sigil next episode. Stay tuned for that. We were able to get ourselves a automatic Wither Head Gatherer thing of a bobber that the community can use, and I showed off a lot of new cool stuff. So yeah. 
Thank you guys for sitting through all the rest of the, through the entire video. If you're still here, if you hated this video, of course, people who are here don't really do that. But if you hated this video, you know where to put it. But if you did enjoy, make sure you smash that like button for me, guys. You guys have been doing amazing on my videos lately, and I just want to say thank you for all of your amazing support. Don't forget to leave down any post. Bleh. Put it there. Don't forget to put her there. Put her those. But don't forget to leave any questions, comments, or smart marks in the comment section down there. I do love hearing from you guys. I love reading your comments. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, and hope all of you have a great and wonderful rest of your day. See you next time, guys. Say bye to the walrus. Bye, guys. Oh, he's a cute little walrus. See ya.